So how do you actually receive the data, right? The data that you have gotten here and then store it inside the database. So we'll be trying to see that one. So first of all, you need this particular package that is if you read us. Let's go with npm npm install SQLite 3, right? That's what we're trying to use. So just go with it and install it perfectly. So after installing it, we need to include it here. So bar SQLite 3, then require, then we're going to call it as SQLite 3 dot verbose. Perfect, right? That is all we need. So now we have been able to include a particular SQLite inside our database, right? Which is quite interesting. Okay. The next thing we need is to be able to connect to that particular database. So how do we connect to it? So it's quite simple. It's going to be let db, uh, db for database, the new SQLite 3 dot database, right? You're trying to con connect to a particular database. And then let's call it as, let's say, users data dot db. So this users data is where it's what it's going to be connected to then sqlite 3 dot open read write let me spell it open read write then we take an arrow an arrow then with a arrow function of this All right so this is going to be a simple arrow function that takes and if, if condition so error if error then try to log out the error so it's going to console dot error this is important so that so that we have to know where you are making mistakes for that message then we're going to go with a simple console dot log that is if there is no error then connected to users database right users db something like that or you can write anything that you want okay perfect so we have name to do that right so let's try and create this particular database so to create it just go open your browser go back to where your file was so here there's nothing here right so we try try to create it here so it's going to be sql sql line three then users data dot db perfect so if you check it there's nothing there, right? So there's no table there. So you create it and then go back. Okay, perfect. So you have been able to do that. You have been able to connect to this particular user's database, right? The one that we created. Now we have to create a table inside our database whereby we're going to store our data. So let's call it as creating table. Table, right? Cut your table. So to create a table, we're just going to go with db.run. And even the run takes to a several argument SQL for the SQL query itself, parameter, and then a function, right? Okay. So we will just work first of all with the SQL first. So to create a table in SQL, we're going to be create table if not exist. You can bring this or you can omit it, but because you are not, you are just working with an empty database with no table, we just go with straight away create table. And I'm going to call it as users, users, right? That's the name of it. And then we're going to take an, a column. So the field name, so the first one is going to be this. So from our table, we had a username, email, and password, which is username, email, and password. So you're going to create individual columns and fields for them. So I'm going to call it as username. And I'm going to get the character of, let's say, 50, right? Then another one is going to be for our email character of 50. Or well, let's make it 80 because sometimes some emails can be big. Then the last one is going to be the password. Then the password can be of a character of character of let's say 80, right? Okay, perfect. So we are done with this particular stuff that we had. One, two, one, two, right? Okay, perfect. So let's close it. So we are going to create a particular table. So I forgot to bring the E. So this is going to create a table of users. So that is all that we need now. So let me save it. And then let's run it and see. So run it. OK. 
okay so it's connected to the to users database that means that it's actually working right everything is working well perfect so if i go back to that same place and i check sqlite then i go with tables see that there's a tables created here there's a table called users created here right so let's create it now how do we send this data into our database so we have seen so we have seen how to use the body parser to receive the data from the form now we'll be trying to use the same that body parser to, to pass and insert our data into our database so we're going to put it here here's where the post was then we're just going to create another db.run to be able to insert the data so let's call it as inserting data so inserting data right so we're just going to use the same db so db.run as i said the db.run takes the argument the sql the param and then the function right so that's it so first of all we just do the simple sql stuff so let's write the sql here so let's call it as a uh, let's my let's call it let's sql something can you will not use it but you use it you may not use it at all so it's going to be insert into users that is the table that we had what, what are we insert we are inserting the field name so we first of all give the field name and then we're going to give our values right so that's what we're going to be doing so a field name and then a value so this is going to be the users table then it's going to take our field name so the field name was username and then there was uh, email and then there was a uh, password right perfect now we also need to be able to accept the value so they have three values so we're going to call it as this this and then this so these are the three values that you are setting so yeah instead that's a simple sql stuff to do right so i just i can just put past this particular thing here as sql right with no parameters right so now that is it so that is how it's going to be now let's pass the parameters so the parameter is going to be these ones that are going to be passing here so we're going to be the first one is going to be request dot body dot the first name the username not the first name the username then request dot body then the email then request dot body then the last one was password right so these ones here are coming from here right they are coming from these ones here and we are receiving from this particular value so that is it so we have named to do this particular stuff so all these things are coming from these things that we are supplying here okay so that is all we need to do we have named to give us the sql from this then the parameters which is this then the last one we need is a function oops the last one we did is a function so the function is going to be a simple function error there's an, an error function to help us get, get the errors then we're just going to copy the same thing that we had here so if error blah 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 this if error stuff right so you can just do the same thing if error console.log this particular stuff you can just copy this thing here because it's almost the same thing right i think it's correct okay yeah that's right so if error console.log the error message that you want right something like this or you can just change it to 10 console.log then the error message say the same thing there's another method you can also do I'm going to close that and then the console.log is going to be let's say a row was this one will not be connected again but we're rather going to give it the particular stuff so let's say a, a row was added at this particular id right this was added or was inserted was inserted at then we're going to give it a particular something something that we want to give right so it can be anything so let's give it as something like this is normal variable so this then we can call it as a last id 
right? Can be can be anything. Okay, perfect. Now let's see whether it's going to work well. So let me save it. Close it here. Perfect. Okay, now we have been able to do that, right? So now let's see whether it's going to work. So I'll restart it. It doesn't give us any error. Um, see that see that time that table users already exist, right? The table user already exists, so that is why from here you can either comment it out and comment this one out, or we can just write it like quit table if not exist. Right, let's save it and then now pivot, right? So if not exist, it's going to help us in case there is a table already called users. Now let's try and add our data. So I'm going to give it as Jesse. Then let's give it as Jesse at Jesse.com and then give it as one, two, three, four, five. Right? So let's submit it. Perfect. So that it work. Jesse is working. Now if you come back to our log data here, so, so uh, an, a, a row was inserted at this. I didn't I forgot, I think I made a mistake with this. No worries, it's going to work. So if you go back to here. And then we check from here, right? Our table that we had. So SQLite the tables. See that uses. We just go with select all from users. Perfect. See that the thing that we entered here. This is just here. Note that we entered has been seen inside the database. So that is how to include. SQLite inside your Express to be able to accept data using it. So the basic idea is that you just create a form. I did going to be a simple form with a put and then the route to it with these names here. That's what you're going to do. And then you're going to create use body parser to be able to pass and receive your data from the form. So with this body parser, you just create a body parser extension here. And then you include this body parser inside your function here. That is all you need to do. Then you just go with request.body to receive everything there. Then you can be specific if you want. So for the username, for whatever. Then you need SQLite. So you just install SQLite here. You import SQLite. You connect to the database that you have created. You create a table inside the database. You create a table inside the database. Then you, you insert use the same SQLite stuff to insert the data. And set the data into the particular table using the same thing. So there's the parameter, the SQL query, the parameters, and a simple function to log out the errors. That's all that you need to do. You can omit this one if you want. Was inserted as well, right? Perfect. So that is how to do it in Express. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or contribution, you can just put inside the comment section so that everybody can benefit. Please don't forget to subscribe. Stay blessed. Stay tuned for the next aspect in class.